Welcome back to Lost Judgment. Yes, I've been playing FIFA a lot, alright? This is a change of pace. <laughs> I haven't forgot about this game, depending on when you're seeing this. But last episode, we took out some trash. Some shitty guys this who were doing... Oh. Where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, it's like a father to me. He's been a this guy was a lawyer. figure in Comrade for years. Again to Sensei. Huh? Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. Genda. It's good to see you. Oh, I believe we met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> that's my guy, Yagami! Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. So. Excuse me. Um, last episode, we dealt with some con artists, which is obviously what they we're talking about here. We got uh, Keiko and Gen Gw Gwenda. Let's take a look around this place first, though, before we do anything. Nothing in the fridge. I don't think we can interact with anything apart from those two, but we kind of can go back there. <laughs> I like that. Where's my desk actually? Do I not have a desk? Observation mode. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Can we see anything in here? No? Nah, it's not giving us anything. Well, let's talk to these two. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Sauri Kun and Hoshino Kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Oh, you mean. It's a groping case? Oh! She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Hey, yo. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to trigger one in this video now, aren't I? Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Trigger warning! Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like, that'll do him any good. Stop that man! That man's a grover! Stop him! Stop him! Oh yeah, get him! Good. Let go! Good. Good. Get a station car. This man grabbed me on the train. He put his hand up my skirt. No, you're wrong. You got the wrong guy. Nah, we ain't. Believe the victim. That's good. Get his face. Believe the victim. We don't do that out here. Dotty man. Ehara-san, do you mind sitting up straight in court, please? <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Who's that? Sayori Sh Shirosuke? Does it even matter? It's over. 
The verdict has already been decided. Yeah. The demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. Easy, young one. How she know? Oh, this is the guys that Gander was talking about. Leave an impression. <laughs> well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical either. Besides, the judge hasn't. It's decided. Guilty is charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? Wait, huh? And so, let's get this show on the road. Ah, uh, it's all part of an elaborate plan. It's all part of an elaborate plan. All these guys are gonna die. All these dunnies are gonna die. Well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. Court's gonna blow we up. We only really needed Sauri Kuhn at the bench, but Hoshino Kuhn insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Sauri Kuhn's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Ice in the veins, lads! Speaking of. How'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the force anyway. Mm. Correct. That's how to protect but people. The plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it, in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Comro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kuhn, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> nah, bro. That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. This guy's on his grind. I never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko. -san. This guy's in his bag. Should we talk to uh, Keiko? Oh no, we, Please we can't. Please be careful, Yagami-san. And thank you. Alright. Nice talking to you. Oh wait, we can actually walk out? Oh, that's cool. We can actually walk out. That is pretty cool. Hey, ready to wreck shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Oh, pop crawl. You won't be able to save after this point. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, hold on. Not just yet. Give me just a sec, actually. Huh? Do you say so? What do you mean I can't save after this point? Alright, let me save right now. Let me hard save. Alright. Hey, ready to wreck shop talk? <laughs> yes, let's do this. Let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about. All right, about I can't save. What does it mean? I've forgotten how to play this game if we get into a fight. Maybe I should have went back through the tutorials. And I was complaining last episode about not being able to play. 
Oh, we got another one. Well, this the dump you brought Keiko-chan to? It is. So could you please just let me Oh, go? wait, we still got him. Not a chance. You get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Are you crazy? He'd murder me on the spot. Then he'd murder you two for dessert. The guy in the Tojo uh, clan. Is that scary, huh? Yes, actually. Not to mention all his boys. All the more reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. Oh, hold on. We about to get busy. Sugiura. Really? Could he choose a worse fucking time? Talk about a buzzkill. Hey there. You miss me? Jeez, it's been what? Half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. Well, I've got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo kun and I have our very own detective agency. Wait, are you saying you started a detective agency? Meaning, now you're a detective? Yep, got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man, I don't know what to say. No, and by Tsukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought his hacking might give us an edge. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You wanna wrap this up, Talk? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the pros? So they can show us how it's done. Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. You all set? Huh. Then let's roll. Let's do it. This guy was an ex Tojo clan, yeah? We've got your boy. Kosuke, care to explain what the fuck's going on? It's uh, not what you think. I uh, know it is what you of think. a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami mm -hmm. Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There, you see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugane <laughs> myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape and just as dumb. Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him that forks over the family safe. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, you're a real legend. Damn! Damn. There, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here! Oh. Come on now, don't give him what he wants. Fuck it. Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know is the so cocky. Breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. Huh? No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. Guess what <laughs> I spend the cash on? This is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside, stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. You hear that, Kaito-san? He says we're free to cut loose. Hey, hey. Yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of... Uh, Sigura! Hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. Greetings, Yagami-shi. Did Sugiura-shi call you a second ago? He did, but 
Look, Tsukamoto, now's really not a good time. <laughs> oh, so you really are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I'd hate to think he upset you, you know? But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apology. Yep, no offense taken, man. But you see my point, right? Sugiura, she and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. <laughs> any responsible member of a company. I mean, any responsible member of society. It's, it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? Should I call you back? If you have an estimate, I can set a timer. That way I'll know when it's convenient. <laughs> right, uh... Where did we leave off? <laughs> you gotta be shitting me! Yeah, pretty lame talk. We gon' open a can of whoop-ass! Joker's a dead meat! Hehehe. <laughs> fun! I like fun. I like fun. Who wants it? Who wants it? Jollof rice! Brown stew chicken! Buh! 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 Look at the combos! Buh! Oh, you tried! You tried! Give me this! Give me that! Give me that! You tried. You're dead. Trash! Finished! Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Well, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service for you, then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, mm -hmm. I sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, be careful what money you choose. I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, keiko Chan. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. <laughs> you see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. Hear you loud and clear. Mad. I'd say that's a job well done. Sorry, san and Hoshinokun sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. <laughs> There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Mm. Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. <laughs> you talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. Aww. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. Oh, he died! That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. 
Thanks so. for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. But then that means something's up. I reckon they blew up the courthouse. Or summer. Because man said grand finale. Right. Here we go. The game is a foot. That's the achievement that we just got. Something's about to go down. It's about to go down. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. Six months! He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yeah. Six months! I'm sure his attitude didn't you should help get the more. situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. You should get more than the that. Defendant may be seated. Trying to touch up women and that, bruv. You should get life for that. Hmm? Yeah. You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. Yeah, that was the body what? in the first episode. What the hell? At the beginning. What is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. Oh! He deserved to die a thousand times. Oh! But he was never even accused of a crime. No. He just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Oh! Ooh. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Man's doing a Mazzolini. Do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, Your Honor, we uh, well, he's a psycho. Oh, this is gonna get good, bro. He's gonna make everybody in the court play Squid Games. By the way, if you've never watched Squid Games, you gotta watch it. It's so good. Huh? Uh, how's that for an honest day's work? I just want to go so say not. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiura too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Sukumo, they're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> good one, Tog. Serious? Oh. This game is absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face. Oh, you're stupid. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Why don't we go give Please some come my way. Over? You know I'm always down. Please come my way. Those local punks are cheerful as always. Please come my way. I better not stick. No, 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 no. Let them come my way. Let them pick a fight with me. Gangsters don't ask questions. <laughs> don't ask big man questions, you get me? We're walking around town. Yes, I know. This is exactly like Yakuza 1. Sometimes you pack out a usually powerful enemy in the streets. They'll be denoted by purple icons. In battle, their health bar will appear. It's much larger. Be sure to recently stock and recovery right items. That's just that's a shout. I haven't used any recovery items yet. Uh, battle rewards by fulfilling certain conditions in a fight, you may earn battle rewards. Press square, bro. Browse the skills have Okay. Yeah, whatever. Like Spider Man. I'm fighting criminals. What is? It? No, 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 Bridget. Come my way. Come my way, please, I beg, yes, let me give you these hands, 
Almost keep the car. Let me give you these hands, please. I beg. Really, guys? <laughs> you too. Hey. Yeah. You want this? You want this? Let me give you them hands. I Let me give you these hands. Brown shoe chicken. But <laughs> I threw him into the bike. That's done. Alright, so I got all these all these achieve conditions okay. fulfilled. Right. Uh importance of regular meals. Yeah, okay, cool. Right. Where is my next mission? I should probably understand uh, right. important facilities, side cases, girlfriend, girlfriends, feline encounters, huh? Objective, right? We gotta find. Oh, uh, sorry, we gotta find Segura, right? Oh yeah, because we're all the way up here, so we've got to get all the way down here. Okay. Can we get our waypoint? Yes, we can. We're back. This is the yacht detective you need to agency. Take to the agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex yakuza named Kaito. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing, but the reality is. We'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda Sensei. It's not like we don't have the technology. But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. Here we are. That's cool. Decorate? Change the scenery might be nice. Decorate the we can decorate the room. Oh, we can change. Oh, sorry, we can change things around. And if we get more items, like around the city, then ah, that's that's pretty cool. Out. What we got here? The master system. Oh, we can play games. That's cool. That is awesome. We'll have to do that at some point. Oh, we can play music over there. Let's talk to Kato. Yes, we can finally take a breather. Weren't you supposed to call Sugiura? Uh, yes. I was, wasn't I? Crazy how he ended up in our line of work. After seeing us in action, who could blame him? Let's go check out Segura. Needs detective agency. Yagami-san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh yeah, listen, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. We can ace this case I've got lined up. We'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? Yes. Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Then should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow if you can swing it. We're based in Ichincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, you free on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. <laughs> if I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Uh, sorry, Sugira. Yeah. Tomorrow works what if they heard that? Perfect. Why don't you just mute the phone? Oh, great. oh and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. Sweet. 
See you guys soon then. <laughs> Sugiura said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. Hmm. Well, Yokohama it is. Hey! Hey, hey! Yeah! Oh wait, this probably get taken down for copyright. Will this get taken? This will get taken down for copyright. Let's skip that. <laughs> Chapter one, Black Sheep. Yokohama 99's cross streets. Aww, it's not even close to Chinatown. So much Damn. for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Sukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. This game is awesome. I love the the um, the dynamic between Kaito and Yagami. Let's roll, talk. Let's roll. Right, where are we going? We are going to here. Waypoint. Let's roll. Can we get run over? Not really. I love the world, it's so vibrant. Oh yes, yes. Over there. <laughs> That's not what I saw. So, would you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off! Uh oh, Wild, man. What do you care? Are oh, you beating up some high schoolers? It says I can't record here. Enough! Stop! Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sign over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right Oh, we are about to say it, fucking kids. I told you! Put that down! Come on! Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. They're trying to get their TikTok clips. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> So, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pox. You're goddamn brats! I got that one. He called us goddamn brats. You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no. I just don't want you loitering in front of my store. That's all I said, okay? 
so stop disturbing my customers. <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Your parents buy it for you? <laughs> Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down. You must be saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? <clears throat> Let me see. <laughs> hey, uh, my phone back. You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. Yeah! Bro, you... You're kick your ass. so you didn't learn. You know what's gonna happen to you now. I'm gonna send you to your bed. I'm gonna send you down to your bed, blood. Guardy, oh, new one, snake style. Um, parry, deflect from any direction, grab an enemy. Then press, then hold it, then press one more. Oh, we can disarm them, right? Out! Oh my God! Yo! <laughs> oh, we can parry. That's sick. Come on, come on. Try it. Oh, okay, hit me. Come on, let me parry. Let me parry. Ow! Let me parry. There we go. Oh, got in. Who else wants it? Here we go. Alright. How do we make these guys scared? Yo, the snake style is nuts. Boom! Oh wait, I can skip a tutorial. Oh, what? All right, now. Now I can put these guys in a split. Now I can put these guys in a split. Oh, my God. I can actually bring him around as well. No, no, come here. <laughs> no, no. Ah, ah, ah. Is that you, yeah? Nah. You're done. Boom! Guys are monsters. Yo, <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you were training in a secret dojo or something. Ah, uh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here, this came from one of those kids. Your call, what to do with it? <sighs> You really didn't have to, but thank you. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. 
They'd learned some manners the hard way in Kamrocho. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomong gangsters. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. Anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. I take it you're not from around here? Yeah, but we might end up staying. For a while, at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Let me guess. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a paper plate. But we'll take it. Equipping gear. You know what? I need to take a look at my save files. I need to take a look at uh, some of the stuff that we've got here. Okay, skills. We've got a lot of stuff there. Gadgets. Items. Oh, that's where we find stuff now. Recipes. Miscellaneous. Valuables. Oh, those are disguises. Gear. Wristbands. Protecting your wrists. Uh, keep them warm. Ah, oh, that's nice. Nice to know they're thinking of me. Right. Let's see what we've got here in uh, the level up tree. That's pretty cool. Always good to boost that. Uh, let's see. Leapfrog. Leapfrog strike. And a wall strike. I'll take those. Let's roll, talk. All right. Let's get our way to the agency. But we'll do that. Next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Lost Judgment. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.